Christmas packaging case introduction. Let's imagine that you were asked to help a chocolate company reduce costs. You decided to work on the Christmas packaging. Now try to estimate how much they can save by introducing modularity for this sort of packaging. A few information about the firm. So they're based in Switzerland. Currently, they produce Christmas chocolate in a special dedicated packaging with Christmas motifs. After Christmas, the unsold Christmas inventory have to be sold at a discount price. As we said, we want to estimate what would happen if we change it into modular packaging. Let's see what we mean by modularity in this case. So currently, as we said, they use a standard chocolate box. And for Christmas, they produce this special Christmas packaging with Christmas motifs. Since this has a special motives, later on, this is not in big demand. Therefore, we have to sell it at discount. The hypothesis here, obviously, is that we can reduce cost and limit inventory by changing the package using some modularity. And modularity here will mean the following thing. So currently, obviously, we have two types of packaging. So the regular standard chocolate box and Christmas edition. The idea is to create two modules. So one module would be the current standard packaging. And then we would have a special sticker that we would put on the standard chocolate box to make it look like it is a dedicated to Christmas product. Therefore, the end goal is to create using those two modules, two different packaging, so standard. And by adding the sticker, we get the chocolate edition. After Christmas, if you don't manage to sell all the Christmas edition chocolates, you simply remove the sticker and you end up with a standard chocolate that you can sell at a full price. Now let's move on to Excel and see detailed data that we'll use to estimate what will be the impact on the costs and also on inventory level of the company, how much we can actually earn from that. Let's try to estimate what could be the impact of implementing modularity for our chocolate producer customer. So please open file attached to the lecture, which is called modularity packaging chocolate version eight empty. And here as always in the sheet master, you will have a table of content. We will try to compare both options. So the current one where we have a dedicated Christmas packaging and potential future situation where we simply use regular packaging and we put a sticker on that. And we will estimate the costs related to each and every option in the sheet details. As you can see the column J, it's the before state when we have a dedicated Christmas edition packaging. And in column K, we've got the situation where we have a module Christmas edition packaging. So in this sheet, you will have to estimate the cost for each and every option. So first thing is to estimate the sales of standard chocolate, where we simply look at the number of chocolate sold and the price of a standard chocolate, the prices you can find in the sheet parameters. Now, when it comes to the Christmas edition, we have a little bit more complicated situation. So first you have to estimate the sales of a Christmas edition at a full price and after that at a discount price. As we said, not all chocolates will be sold during the Christmas. There's always a risk that some of them will be left and we have to sell them at a discount. Here we assume that out of the 10 million of chocolates that we will prepare in a Christmas packaging, 80% of them will be sold at a full price. Obviously, if we have a module Christmas, we will sell everything at a full price. The things that we are not able to sell as a Christmas chocolate will remove the sticker and sell it as a regular one. Those things help you estimate the total sales, which will be the sum of standard chocolate sales and Christmas sales. After sales, you have to estimate cost of standard packaging, Christmas edition dedicated packaging. The cost of standard packaging will obviously depend on the standard packaging. So how many chocolates we put in a standard packaging. Obviously, it will be different number for the current situation and the future situation. And then the price per standard packaging. Price per standard packaging will depend on the quantity you, which you order with the supplier. And we have put them in the sheet price standard. So for example, if you order between 30 and 40,000, you pay 0.5. If it's below 30,000, it's 0.6 per packaging. 
In a similar way, we estimate the cost of the Christmas edition packaging. Obviously, this will be valid only for the before state, so the current situation. After we introduce module Christmas edition packaging, this will not exist. So this position we only estimate for column J. Now, if you introduce the modular packaging, obviously you have to estimate also the cost of putting a sticker and removing it afterwards. And this is what we do in row 33 and 37. Here, we obviously have to estimate the needed sticker and price per sticker. And in the case of removing, you have to assume that 20% of the stickers will be removed. So this is the percentage of the Christmas products that are not being sold as Christmas and you have to remove the sticker. On top of that, we have to assume other variable costs. So in other words, mainly the chocolate. And we assume that the cost will be one euro per chocolate. After estimating the other variable costs, you can move on and estimate the total variable costs. And this is what we will try to do in row 48. And once we've got the sales and variable costs, we can finally estimate the margin after variable costs and compare both options and decide which is better. I recommend that you pause now the lecture and you try to do it on your own using the things that we have here. All the necessary information you will find in the sheet details. There will be also certain information on price packaging and prices standard and price Christmas, as well as in the sheet parameters. So have a look at them, try to estimate it on your own. And once you are done with the estimation, move on to the next lecture, where I will show you the solution to this case study. Let's have a look at the solution to this case study. So please open file attached to the lecture, which is called Modularity Packaging Chocolate Version 8. And here in the sheet details, we've already filled in the data. So let's compare the both options. In the case of the sales of standard chocolate, we obviously have the same situation. So we sell 150 million euro because we sell 50 million chocolates and every chocolate is three euro. Now, when it comes to the sales of Christmas edition, the situation will be a little bit different here. We will be actually selling more if we use the module packaging. And this is due to the fact that we will be not having any sales at a discount. So everything which was not sold during the Christmas will simply remove the sticker and sell it as a regular chocolate. Therefore, we have assumed here that we sell 100% of the chocolate at the price, the regular chocolate. Therefore, as you can see, the sales will be a bit higher in the case of having module packaging. When it comes to cost of standard packaging, we have an interesting thing happening. As you can see, we will be actually spending less, although we are buying more items. And this is due to the fact that we were able to get better prices for standard packaging. Since we are buying not 50, but 60 million of standard packaging, we'll get a lower price per one package. When it comes to the cost of Christmas edition and dedicated packaging, we obviously have zero for the after situation because we will not be buying them. However, we will be buying the stickers and removing them afterwards. So the sticker will add 0.3 million of additional costs and the removal on the 20% of the packages will be additional 200,000 euros. Obviously, we cannot forget the other variable costs. Here, we obviously mainly mean the chocolate inside the packaging. We assumed that the cost per one chocolate will be one euro. Therefore, for all chocolates, we're going to spend 60 million. Finally, we are able to estimate total variable costs, which will be a sum of all the variable costs that we have estimated so far. In the case where we use the dedicated Christmas edition, so what we've got currently, we are spending 87 million. Whereas if we introduce the module packaging, we'll be spending only 73 million. This means that our margin after variable costs should increase from 91 to 108. We did summary in the sheet summary. As you can see, we show the difference on different levels. So thanks to the module packaging, we are gaining 2 million in additional sales and we are decreasing the cost by 50 million. So in total, we increase, as we said, the margin of the variable cost by 17 million. In the sheet slide, we also show it in a form of a waterfall. So you can see we've got the before state after the introduction of module Christmas edition and the difference 
of 17 million. So have a look at that, check your solution against our, and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.